it's Court. Hey, Welcome beauties, back to my court. channel. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> what do you think? What do you I mean? think? Do you guys like it? I love it. <laughs> I'm so happy I did it. I don't know if you guys saw my last video where I talked about it, but I've had short hair almost all my life for as long as I can remember. I had just started letting it grow out when my first daughter was born because I just, you know, threw it up in ponytails and stopped caring about it. So I had to get it cut because even if I don't feel like doing anything to it, all I have to do is brush it and it looks done. I had to do it and I'm really glad I did. I absolutely love it. So now that that's out of the way, welcome to my October favorites. I actually didn't think I was going to have too many things to share with you because I really didn't wear makeup that much this past month with Halloween. Um, I haven't worn it at all in the last few days because I broke out really bad from the makeup that I wore. But I ended up going through my collection and finding some stuff that I remembered that I was wearing that I really have been loving. So I can't wait to share some of this stuff with you. So anyway, I'm going to start sharing my favorite vape juices with you guys just real quick at the beginning of every video. I'm not going to go into really much detail about them, but I do know quite a few of my followers do vape. So I figured I would share what my favorite juice of the month is before I hopped into my beauty favorite. So this has been something that I have not been able to keep out of my tank all month long. This is by Brew Juice and it's called Katy Perry. And literally when you vape this, it's like biting into a fresh pear. It is so delicious. Normally I'm not really a big fan of fruity vapes, but I've been getting a lot more into them lately. This and the Lost Art Mystery flavor have been my favorite too, but I've barely even been vaping the mystery flavor just because I cannot get enough of this Katy Perry. I'm normally a vanilla custard sim... Simonin, yes, I can't say it. I say fucking simonin. Whatever, get over it. Like dessert pastry kind of vapes, since I found this though, I am really, really digging fresh fruit. One of beauty favorites, I'm gonna try and breeze through them. It is literally two o'clock in the morning right now. I got caught up watching American Horror Story Coven and it was like right at the episode where they started doing like the seven things and I just couldn't stop so I had to watch it and it ended up becoming two o'clock in the morning before I knew it. I haven't really been wearing lashes too often. I do have them one today and I am wearing these. These are from Salon Perfect. These are their Demi Wispies. I don't, I have no idea what happened this one I just ended up with an odd number somehow I have no clue how but these are gorgeous they have pretty much no band the band that they do have is clear and it's extremely flexible so these are completely idiot proof these are like I said they are just so easy to apply they're a breeze and they're beautiful they're more flared out on the edges and smaller in the center and they're kind of like the crisscross ones where they have hairs that do this so they're a lot more natural looking and i really really love them for me all they do is just add a little bit of volume and just kind of give my lashes that extra little oomph that they need on a daily basis so you can't wear lashes without having a good lash glue a good lash glue can make all the difference in your lash wearing experience literally if you have a shitty lash glue it will make your life a living hell. I've been a duo girl ever since I started wearing lashes. Oh my god. I believe it was Nicole who had mentioned these in one of her favorites videos so I went out and tried to look for it and it is the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. Oh my god this stuff is so good. So good. It has a brush tip applicator which makes putting it on your lashes a breeze it doesn't apply too much it never blows bubbles obviously because it's a brush tip applicator and it doesn't like dry completely quickly this is gonna be kind of hard to explain it gets to that tacky state quickly to where you need to put it on your lashes it gets to that state quickly and then it takes a little bit longer to dry so it has like a good working time and you don't have to wait too long to put them on your eyes because obviously you know that when you put lashes on you want to wait a minute until the glue gets tacky and then you actually put it on your eyes just just go buy it i mean it is so easy to use it is just like the lashes this stuff is idiot proof and it's like six or seven bucks i think and i mean let's be real how quick are you going to go through a tube this big of lash glue next thing i have is my blush um this is i've been wearing this as a blush today i'm wearing it as a blush topper but 
I have been doing like the more neutral natural looks lately just kind of like 15 minute makeup and run out the door kind of thing. This is the Maybelline Master Highlight and it's a highlighting blush. This is in the shade 10 Nude. It is so pretty. If you have fair skin, this is gorgeous as just a light pink flush on the cheeks and you really don't even need to wear a highlighter when you wear this. You just bring your blush up a little bit. I cannot get the word blush out of my mouth to save my life right now. You just bring your blush up a little bit higher than you normally would and it's like blush and highlighter all in one. You can see on my finger there it has a really nice glow to it. It's just this beautiful pinky gorgeous. It's, it's just pretty. The packaging is super cute too. It does have a mirror and it comes with a little brush inside of here. I think it's just like a bunch of extra packaging for nothing. But the way that the actual product is in the pan, I just swatched it so it's all messed up now. But it's like this, um, it kind of looks like a woven basket with the different colors. And I think it's really cool and it makes for a really pretty color when you swirl it all together. Next item is my foundation that I have not been able to stop using. This is by Pure P-U-R and this is the Refill Compact. I have no idea what happened to the actual compact it's either white or silver and it's like rounded I don't know I'll try and put in a picture for you guys but this is the Air Perfection CC Cushion Foundation with SPF 50 in it this is one of the best light lighter like lighter to medium coverage foundations that I've ever used it's got a little sponge in here so I've been taking my big um tarp palette the one that came with the holiday palette the big tart foundation brush and applying it all over my face and then I just blend it out with my beauty blender like I do with all of my foundations and I normally am not a light to medium coverage kind of girl but this is a lighter coverage that just kind of it's definitely a your skin but better kind of foundation I hate saying that because I feel like people say that all your lips but better your skin but better but it really does describe it perfectly because it's like your natural skin but it's just more even there's no redness and it kind of blurs pores and fine lines this does not sink into my fine lines at all it is literally the first foundation on the planet that I have tried that doesn't sink into my fine lines pretty much no matter how long I wear it it's just not something that happens with this foundation it is incredible light to medium coverage foundation CC cream kind of thing if that's what you're looking for definitely check this out I keep a little sticker in here it like came with a little paper sticker over it and I'm not really, cause I don't want it to dry out since I don't have like the compact that goes around it, but this like clips shut. So I don't really think it's necessary, but for some reason I just can't throw it away. That's so stupid, right? Next up is a powder. This is my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I love this shit. I've been using this for a long time. I buy the little sample sizes off of eBay because they're like three bucks and they last me six months at a time. So instead of buying the big one for like $12, for some reason I just buy the $3 one every six months. Even though if I bought the big one, it will probably last me like years. Don't ask me about my logic because I don't have any. I just, I, it's easier to store for me too when I, when it comes in these little tiny thingies. I love this for setting my under eyes and going like further down on my cheeks a little bit because it blurs my pores very nicely. I can't use literally any powder on my face at all. I cannot set my foundation whatsoever because the second I put any powder on my face it instantly gets cakey. I have tried high-end, drugstore, this kind, that. I have tried so many powders and it sucks because I have a couple foundations that I really like and they stay tacky on my skin and it really bugs me but I just cannot find a powder that doesn't make my skin look cakey. The only place I can use powder is right under my eyes but this one I can actually bring it down a little bit further and it does help to blur my pores a little bit. This is pretty much holy grail for me. I do like the Laura Mercier under eye setting powder as well, but on a day to day basis, this is more affordable. So I prefer to use the highlighter of the month. Oh my God. You guys probably think you know what I have in my hand right now, but I'll tell you, you don't. It's not the highlighter that everybody has been ranting and raving about. I actually have not had this all month, but it is a favorite. I can tell you right now, Amazing, incredible. You don't really have to use a highlighter more than a couple times to know that you absolutely love it. This is my Bobbi Brown Limited Edition Highlight Powder in Pink Glow. That's pretty cut and dry there, Bobbi. It's just a highlighting powder. No fancy names. I like that girl. Keep it simple. This is one of the most gorgeous highlighters I've ever owned. I've been using Mary Luminizer nonstop because I've really been into the white silver highlights lately as opposed to the gold ones that I was into before that. 
and I normally don't like a pink tone in my highlighter just because my skin tone is more of a yellow base so when I put the pink on it it just doesn't really work for me I don't like the way that it looks but for some reason this looks amazing on me this is the highlighter that I have on right now and I'm not sure if Oh Darling is going to get any use for a long time now that I have this in my life. Another higher end item that I want to talk about is this NARS eyeshadow duo. It's in the shade whatever this word is right here. That's the shade that it is. I'm going to go ahead and put it right on the screen for you because I'm not even going to try and say it. Kathleen Lights had raved about this in a video. I think it was a favorites video. I'm pretty sure. So I instantly ran out and got it because she was wearing it and it looked stunning on her beautiful eyes and she pretty much can do no wrong, can recommend no wrong. So I went out and grabbed it for myself and it is the best decision I have made in a long time. Just these two shadows together make such a beautiful neutral everyday look with the gold one on the lid and the brown one blended out just a tiny bit in the crease and a little bit heavier on the outer corner find something to highlight with on your um, brow bone in your inner corner good to go and I've been using shimma shimma to highlight with with this that's what this is what I have on my eyes pretty much everything I'm showing you right now I'm wearing and it's just been the most effortless everyday easy look pretty much all month long since I got it. So these are the two shades right here. They are so damn pigmented and they are so creamy, smooth, and soft. The brown one, for some reason, I have a little bit harder time blending than the gold one, but they're both just absolutely beautiful. For the shade and the color payoff that this has, I really don't mind having to put a tiny little bit, like I'm, I'm, I'm meaning like I have to go like this three times as opposed to just once to blend it out. You know what I mean? Like extra work. That's what I mean when I say extra work. This is definitely more higher end. It is extremely expensive for this duo, but I was having a really bad day when I bought this. Normally I wouldn't spend so much money on two eyeshadows, but it was a shitty day and I wanted to treat myself and I'm allowed to do that. So this is what I ended up getting. The last of the eyeshadows that I wanted to share with you is my Z palette. I have been using this all the time. I use this for Halloween and I've been using it almost every day. I like, if I have a little bit of extra time, I've still been using that NARS Duo. I've just been blending out the crease shade with this creme brulee as a transition and then I use the ship got black shadow in it. And then I use the shimmer shimmer on my inner corner and my brow bone. Shimmer shimmer, I'm like kind of close to hitting pan on that because it's one of my favorite highlighting shades ever. And other than that, I've been, what is this one called? Bitten by Makeup Geek. I've been using that one a lot too, as well as Cocoa Bear. Um, this one right here, I think this is Peach Smoothie. No, this one's Chickadee. And I think this one. Yeah, this one is Peach Smoothie. So Peach Smoothie and Chickadee are transition colors that I like to use when I use more of a red or like burnt kind of color in the crease, which is what I've been using these two for, like this and this one. I like to mix these two together. It's really pretty. Even this purple, I smudged out on my lower lash line one day. But yeah, this is my custom made Z palette. They're mostly Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Some of them are from, what's this brand called? Oh, I done ripped it off. Oh, MBA Cosmetics. There's a couple in here from MBA. Their shadows are decent. There's a couple, um, these are from Makeup Forever. And then Coastal Scents is the rest of it. So there's a little, there's a good mix of affordable and then just a few higher end eyeshadows. But this is the one I put together for the fall and the winter time. I just wanted to show it to you because it's beautiful and it's full and I love filling up Z palettes. There's something so fulfilling about fulfilling up a Z palette. <laughs> This is my purple one, by the way. It's my favorite. This is like my favorite actual Z palette too because it's my purple one and it's like powder purple and I just think it's so beautiful. I only have one brush to share with you this month because I feel like I've been using a lot of the same brushes because I've gotten my hands on some really good ones. So I haven't really had to buy any new ones lately even though I have the worst itch to buy some brushes. I don't know what it is, but every time I think about spending money, I'm like, no, 
wait so you can buy some brushes in a couple days like i just i want to buy brushes so bad and i don't know why but i have been dipping into my tarte holiday collection this is like the smaller tapered kind of brush um i'm not sure what it is exactly none of them have labels or anything like that it doesn't tell you in the packaging these things get dirty so easy but it doesn't tell you like in the packaging what they're supposed to be used for you can use brushes for whatever the hell you want makeup has no rules but i've been using this one for concealer under my eyes um i really i i haven't used a brush for concealer under my eyes in a very long time i've been using my beauty blender and it's been working phenomenally so i figured why change it but i really wanted to try and get some use out of these brushes i don't want to just have them as a collector's item i'm getting more out of the collecting and more into the buying things that i'm actually going to use even though Obviously, I do still have those things that I am never going to touch because I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> As far as these brushes, I have been dipping into them. I still have to kind of use my beauty blender to blend out like right here. It, it, it like applies really nicely, but I just can't blend out the edges perfectly with it. And truth be told, this is not the softest brush. It's kind of pokey when I use it under my eye. I might try to highlight. What do you think? Or maybe even like lay down my contour if I want like a, like a cut you bitch kind of contour. This mascara is life. I'm gonna say it one more time. This mascara is life. This is possibly my favorite mascara I have ever used in my life. This is by D-U-C-C-E. Douche. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. I will put it on the screen and you can try and figure it out yourself because I have no idea. But it is called the Punk Volumizer Mascara. You little punk. Little punk. I, <laughs> I'm obsessed with this. I really don't need false lashes when I wear this. I just put them on today for the shits and giggles. But this brush on this mascara i'll hold it in front of my pasty skin so you can actually see it look how fat this is it's like almost as fat as my fa it's definitely as as fat as my pinky finger like this brush is beautiful it has so many bristles on it is that what they're called bristles i don't know what they're called when it's on a mascara wand it has so many of them and they're like packed nice and tightly and they're at different kind of like angles and different lengths and they're just placed in all the right spots but it's not too dense to where it doesn't grab onto your lashes dear god it is amazing the only drawback about this is it does flake off onto your face but it's nothing that one of these won't cure in an instant they literally they're dry as a bone and they will just wipe right off your cheeks it is so good. I can't ever run out of this. I I will always have a tube of this for the rest of my life. I can guarantee you. Like that is how much I absolutely love this. I don't like it for bottom lashes. It's too big. I've still been using my MAC, um, whatever the hell it's called. But for the top lashes, oh my god. Look how gross this is. I hate having a white tip on here because if I wear any type of lipstick, it's just like... That looks disgusting. It's really not. It's just my lipstick, but it just looks gross. So if all you wanted to see is makeup related items, deuces, and I will see you in my next video, but I got some skincare and other stuff right after this. This is my last makeup related item. These are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. It took me a while to figure out if I liked these or not. I was debating on whether I wanted to return them, but I ended up falling in love. Um, when I haven't been using the Cushion Compact Foundation that I showed you, I'm still using my Bourjois that was in my favorites of last month. Love that foundation. It's amazing, but when I want a little bit extra coverage in it, it doesn't really need it because it's such a beautiful coverage foundation but when I just want that little if I have a little bit of extra redness or if I have a pimple or something like that and I wanted to have a little more coverage these have been a life saver if you don't know what these are look up a review because I don't want to talk about them too much because this video is getting too long <laughs>
So that was it for my beauty favorites. Now I have two skincare items and a nail polish. Like I said, if you only wanted to see makeup, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you next time. But as for all my OG followers who stick with me till the end, this nail polish is beautiful. I normally don't wear, can you guys see it from back there? I can't tell in the mirror if you can see it. It's blue and purple with like green. It's, it's a blue and purple duochrome with green shimmer. Oh my God, it is one of the most beautiful dark nail polishes I've ever seen. It's from Butter London and it is called, it is called, it's called, ew, it's called petrol. That's like gas that you put in your car. That's gross. That's a weird name. I got this at Marshalls and they put the sticker right on the front. So now it's got all this crap on it. Like it was this big, huge sticker. Like, ha, ha, ha. Like, why would they do that? Why couldn't it, what's so hard about putting it on the back just so we can keep the front pretty? Anyway, like I said, this was only six bucks. I actually layered it over. I'm wearing it right now. I layered it over like a, um, like a really dark, dark, dark gray, almost black with silver shimmer in it. And I just love the way it came out. I'm pretty sure the camera is not going to do it any type of justice maybe it will i don't normally wear um nail polishes this deep but i really like like nude shades and light pinks and things like that just because when they start chipping it's a lot harder to notice because i can't paint my i can't necessarily paint my nails every time they start to chip sometimes i have to go a couple days before i finally get the time or the energy to be able to stay up after everybody goes to bed and do it so with the deeper shades it's a little bit more difficult but this is so damn pretty. It's so pretty. As for skincare, I got this at Marshall's as well. This was $10. This is a coconut oil antioxidant facial treatment serum. I think the brand is Sonoma Naturals. I've never heard of them before. But this is basically like a pure coconut oil in serum form. There's literally only five ingredients in this. Two of them are natural oils. I really, really like this. Um, I suggest that if dry shampoo is not your friend and you can't use it, don't put this on before you go to bed because it will transfer to your pillow if you don't let it seep into your skin. But like I said, a little bit of dry shampoo will fix that up real quick. If you're not a fan of dry shampoo though, I would suggest putting something like this on your face at least an hour before you're headed to bed just to kind of let it seep into your skin a little bit more. This has done beautiful things for hydration for me. I love coconut oil. I love putting coconut oil all over my hair at least maybe twice a month I get to do it cover my hair in coconut oil put a shower cap on and just let it sit for as long as I possibly can and it just moisturizes and feels and smells so so good so I figured why wouldn't I want to do that for my face I use this about three times a week and it's just doing amazing things for my skin my last and final item of the month is wet and it is dripping all over my legs right now this is the Garnier Plus Clean Up. What are you? What are you? What do you say? This is written in English, so I don't know why I'm like just I'm looking at it, but I just can't get the words to leave my mouth. That's what it's called. Look for it. This is the Garnier Clean Plus Blackhead Eliminating Scrub. It says it unclogs pores, clears complexion, it's got charcoal, salicylic acid, it's oil free, and it's um, formulated for oily skin. I don't have oily skin, but I really wanted a charcoal scrub and I couldn't really find one that wasn't formulated for oily skin. I had a really bad, I had two of them actually, I can't even feel it anymore. I had a really terrible pimple on my forehead and on my face right here. If you follow me on Snapchat, I'm sure you saw them because I barely ever wear makeup on Snapchat, but they were terrible. I got them the day after Halloween. It is now November, well technically it's November 4th, but yesterday I noticed that they were completely gone on November 3rd. So it took two days with this scrub to be able to get rid of two enormous pimples on my face. You can find this, I'm pretty sure, at like any drugstore. I think I got it at, where'd I buy you? Where'd I buy you from, bitch? Target? I think I bought it at Target. Um, but you can probably find it anywhere and it's really inexpensive. Garnier makes some really good skincare. I so guys, me and my hair are out of here. That is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite brush this month is. Because like I said, I've been itching to buy some new brushes. So let me know which ones you guys have really been loving. So that way I can drool over some more when I go and look up the...
look up them up. When I go and look up them up online. I love you guys so damn much. If you have not subscribed, please do so on your way out. And please give my video a big old thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, yeah. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, yeah. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, yeah. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Why did that instantly turn into like the Rocky theme song? I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. I have a crotch wedgie, guys. This pillow hurts my vagina. I need a new pillow. And I don't like outros at all. They're awkward as fuck. So awkward. I'm so awkward. I'm so awkward. If you guys could like hang out with me, you probably wouldn't even like me. I'm like the weirdest fucking person ever. I don't know what to call this blush. Uh, this blush. This is not blush. This is a brush. A brush. Say it with me, Courtney. You graduated third grade. You know how to spell and speak. Brush. Thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Da -na -na. Is she party? She's so party. <laughs> Alright, Courtney, it's getting weird. <laughs> but I love it so much. Why you always gotta make it weird? You always gotta make it weird, Courtney. Why you gotta do that? I know it was working. Damn, bitch, just be knocking shit over. And the thing that I like a lot, I keep like, I keep doing this. Trying to like wipe it off and it's making me think naughty thoughts. I surrender. I surrender, makeup police. What? What are you talking about, bitch? Go to bed.